Hey, PB. Hold that thought. Sit tight. Uh, I'll be right back. Hello. Don't worry. I'm not springing anything terrible on you. I so, um, the reason I wanted to talk to you all... Uh-oh. Did you mutiny and jettison, Ryder? Uh, no such luck. He just showed up. She did ambush me. But I survived. No harm, no foul, huh? I just want to say, whether you all know it or not, I've had one foot out the door since I got here. And, well, that's gonna stop. I'm proud and happy to be part of this team. This... family. That... that's really it. Uh, okay? About time you caught up, kid. Yeah, you're one of us, whether you like it or not. Well, great. So, uh, my place is an utter mess. Who wants to help me clean it up? Think I left the stove on. I'm making ice. For themselves. Helping Liam make ice. But, but... PB, I want to be with you. Only you. Back again? What did you do while you were part of the Asari military? Four years in a commando unit called Ta Lane's Daughters. Part of the Council's cross-species military integration initiative. You probably had a more exciting time defending that Arcturus relay. But we did good work. Peacekeeping is a full-time job, even in Asari space. Every civilization needs its defenders. And the defenders usually match their civilization. Like Asari Huntresses being adaptable as hell. Makes you wonder what our militia will look like in a hundred years. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. Pathfinder, this is Captain Dunn. There's a situation I could use your assistance with. 
I'd rather not discuss it over open channels. Please come see me on the Hyperion Bridge as soon as you can. It wasn't a military operation. I can see that. It's... I mean, it's a cat to focus on them. I worry about them, but... It makes them feel safe. Life on the Nexus is more enjoyable for all our citizens. But we know there's always room for... Ryder, could we talk a moment? Teamwork. 